So today we'll discuss about Larry Williams strategy. Uh, it's got some pretty decent results across certain stocks. Um, can't complain about the results at all. Um, so I hope you guys know who Larry Williams is. He's a pretty famous guy. Um, this guy won the World Trading Championships, Futures Trading Championship. He converted $10,000 to $1 million. So that's like 11,000% return in 12-month competition. So his daughter also won the same contest. His daughter is quite famous, uh, Michelle Williams. Um, yeah, so this is the girl, Michelle Williams. I, I think you guys recognize her now. Uh, she also won the um, competition by 1,000% returns as well. So according to this articles, nobody else has beaten that 1,000% return yet. So I'm just not going to explain the Larry Williams strategy or anything, but I'm just going to use this, as I found in Wikipedia, the uh, strategy um, signal. So it's uh, he uses a 10-day trading period, and then he uses a percentage R, um, 100%, and five days passing since the minus 100% was last reached. And then the percentage R rises to minus 95 or minus 85%, and that's when he is going to go long. So first thing you have to do is just click on open and then create strategy, and there'll be like a default one. I want you to delete all of them and just save the version five bit. So this strategy, unlike before, um, we do version five strategies, but generally our strategies are all in version four. Uh, but I think this one I'll do it in version 5. So this is my interpretation of the strategy. So um, for instance, in Williams R, he uses uh, minus 100. But the problem with minus 100 is unlike during his time, minus 100 is very rare. So I can see minus 95. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with minus 95 this time. Uh, that's the only change I'm going to make to this strategy. So if you guys want to download the entire code, uh, it's there in the description box uh, in the link provided. So it'll be sent to your email. So let's start. So it's basically strategy. You need to name the strategy. So I'm just going to call him uh, Will Strategy YouTube. Uh, overlay equals true. Small letter true. And... So we need to um, give the Williams value, so Williams percentage R. So um, PineScript has got their own built-in Williams indicator. So we don't have to code much, so WPR. So he said 10 periods, right? So let me just check. So yeah, it's 10 day trading period. So we're just gonna go give it 10 and then we're gonna store it into a value. I think I'll just give it X just to make it simple. Uh, and then if, Five days back, it's less than 95, minus 95. So unlike the typical uh, stochastics or RSI or everything, we just like positive values, his values are like minus values. So I'm just gonna give X of the past five days. So that's five days ago, it should be less than minus 95. So like I said before, uh, the reason why I chose minus 95 is it's very rare for it to hit 100, like you see there. So it's better off uh, you choose, but you can choose minus 100 and see whether it works out as well. But in my uh, analysis, I felt that it didn't work out. So, and um, X is greater than, what was the value? Uh, minus 95 or minus 85. So I'm going to do uh, 85 here. X is greater than minus 85. Then, obviously, we do strategy dot entry long comma strategy dot long so that's it now exit again is not the typical exit that i'm going to try in this strategy because i don't like the oscillator uh, oversold overbought thing uh, you can try it but for me i prefer a strict risk management based exits so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the stop loss and take profit. So before that, one thing you need to add is this. Uh, I'm just going to give out one additional advantage. There's one thing more you can add to this to make the strategy even better. So I'm not going to give it away, but it's something that I've used in practically most of my videos, of the backtest of videos on our YouTube channel, if you want to check it out. So if you add that condition as well, this strategy kind of improves even better. So I'm going to leave that to you. 
So stop loss and take profit, I'm just gonna give out stop loss equals 0 0.10 and take profit equals I think 30%, so 0 0.30. So there are better values than 95 and 85 and there are better values than 10% and 30% risk management. I'm not gonna go deep into it, but if you want to find that out, <clears throat> it's normally done by optimization. So basically you change out these values of 95 and 85 and even 10 uh, and also stop loss values and back test it across all the stocks around the world or in the S&P 500 and find the best value that provides the best results. So that's called optimization. And once you do the optimization, then you perform forward testing. So where you haven't tested these values, you test it on a future value, just like YouTube tests different videos on you to see whether you like a certain uh, kind of videos, like a recommended videos, and then YouTube recommends more of those until you lose interest and you go to some other topic. So that's called forward testing. So it's done across machine learning and um, AI-based industries. So once you do that, once you do both of that, and then you do the Monte Carlo simulation and also um, portfolio backtesting, then you're in the green signal and then you can uh, completely enter onto the trade. So if you guys want to check out and learn about optimization, forward testing, Monte Carlo simulation, how to practically apply it, you can check out our course. I leave the link in the description. So this is for you to become a complete quantitative trader. So uh, it's 299 for the Prometheus offer, but it comes with 10 strategies that is beat in the market, which is tested over like 25 plus years. Um, and it includes all the optimization and forward testing and also Monte Carlo analysis. Um, so now going back to our strategy. So stop loss and take profit. Um, it's pretty simple. We've discussed this multiple times in our previous video. So if you want to know how to do a trailing stop loss, which also will be an interesting idea. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet on the strategy. Um, it might help us reduce our losses as well. Uh, anyways, uh, if you want to check out the trailing stop loss, you can do that in our YouTube video. We post a video on that as well. Position underscore average underscore price asterisk one minus SL and then long profit so here it'll be one plus take profit so once you get them both then all you need to do is we don't have we don't want this stop loss and take profit every single even, even then there's no trade so we need to make sure that there is a trade so strategy dot position size is greater than zero then tab strategy dot exit ID equals close and then stop equals long stop comma limit equals long profit so I think I must have said, or maybe I must have forgot, uh, the entire code is available to download in the description. So if you guys want to just copy paste the code, go right ahead. Um, but if you just want to type it out, then do that as well. So let me see if uh, we have any errors or not. So, so far it looks quite decent. X of five is less than minus 10 and X is greater than minus 85. Um, okay, I'm gonna save it as, okay. So yeah, we don't have any errors. Um, now let's check the strategy. So in order to check the strategy, make sure your thing is changed to 100% equity. So reason why we want you to change to 100% equity is because the initial capital is compared to, so you can actually change it to one contracts or per US dollar, but it will be compared to the initial capital of 1 million. So even if you make 100% return, like if $100 stock goes to $200, uh, it will be reflected as 0.001% or something like that. So that kind of messes up with our results. So even if this is 1 million, even if I change this to uh, 10,000, it won't make much of a difference except for some rounding of numbers. And that's why there's like a 0 0.00 difference. If you look at the percentage values of both the drawdowns and the returns. Don't look at the final, uh, that big door amount. Always just look at the percentage amounts of everything. So anyways, I'm just gonna change this into default setting like 100,000 or whatever, it doesn't matter. Again, rounding of numbers there. So let me just check out in different stocks now. So let's start with Apple. 
So Apple has not been that great of a performance. It's just 96%. This is where diversification is quite crucial. Uh, let's see Amazon. Amazon has been pretty decent. American Express is okay. Bank of America is also just not that great. Berkshire has been doing well. BMY 2000, that's good. Berkshire Hathaway is 400, so what was the other one? The other one was Booking, okay. So Berkshire, 400%. Cigna, 3000%, that's pretty decent. Then, uh, again, this on Costco, 3000%, that's good. Chevron, 4000%. The list just keeps on going, so you guys have got a gist, but make sure you diversify. Don't just apply this on one single strategy and then go right ahead and say, oh, okay, I'm gonna go for this trade. So you need to make sure that you need to uh, diversify across 20, 30 stocks and also diversify across different strategies. A lot of free strategies on our channel if you want to check it out. Uh, you're better off doing like four or five different strategies on hundreds of stocks rather than doing one strategy on one um, on one stock. Um, this is very crucial for a know nothing model. So Warren Buffett said that if you don't know anything about anything, then uh, Black Scholes equation and the quantitative models are important. But if you know a lot about a company, then value investing uh, becomes crucial. So for quant trading, we're not looking into the company's fundamentals. We don't know anything about the company. All we're doing is just back testing, using math and quantitative skills and coding skills to become a successful uh, trader. And that's why there are lots of quant traders out there right now. And it's one of the reasons why quantitative traders are one of the highest paid professions in the world. So I'm just going to do another thing that I normally do. I normally check it on SPY and QQQ. So normally if it works in SPY and QQQ, which is SPY is the S&P 500 index, it normally works well across the stock. It's my initial uh, goal to check whether a strategy works. So both of them, it seems okay. I can reduce its maximum drawdown and increase the profit by just adding one secret sauce which I've been talking about in the beginning of the video which is available in all our uh, YouTube videos. You just have to pick that out and just put it in there but you can also change the exit. So here I did a stop loss and take profit. So we, let's see whether the 10% and 20% has gone through. So yeah, minus 10%, minus 10%, 30%, 30%. So you see that minus 14%, so that's basically slippage. Uh, so it's because a day the market has opened as a gap or something like that. So those kind of things can happen. But you can actually put a slippage value in the strategy tester, but I would recommend it not to do because it will be a positive side as well. So you see 30.19, that's when the gap opened in your favor. So it'll always be things like that. So um, our stop loss and take profit is working pretty well. Performance summary and all those things. Um, so... Um, Regarding the exit, uh, you can do the stop loss and take profit way, but also you can do the this way as well. The reason why I don't like it personally is because I don't like to go uh, many trades because the more trades you go, the more likely things might not work out. It's like uh, buying RSI oversold and uh, selling RSI overbought. You talk to most people, most of you guys know it doesn't work. So I don't like that whole oversold, overbought thingy. I use that as a condition and change my exit based on my preference. So you guys can create a short strategy as well, even though I'm not a big fan of that. Um, you just have to twist it around and you can create a short strategy. If you want to know about the trading stop loss and the normal stop loss, again, check it out on our YouTube channel is uh, free information available out there. So if you don't know anything about trading your buying script, again, there's a full tutorial. So if you wanna be a pretty serious quantitative trader, make sure to check out our course as well. So have a great day. Thank you for watching.